Comrade Stuart Charles here, HomestudioBasics.com, helping you make sound decisions leading to a beautiful audio experience that will make you fall in love with music, not gear, all over again. So, we are going to talk about the boom, tough actin' to actin'. You want a medicine that acts tough? Boom, tough actin' to actin'. Just kidding. We're going to talk about the K712. So let's get right into build. Shout out to Marco, all the way from Finlandia. Finland! Finland! <laughs> for sending these. Um, I've been holding on to them for way too long. <laughs> but uh, yeah, his pair is made in Slovakia. They are a little bit bulkier and a tad taller than the 612s and I believe the 712s, I can't really remember. Uh, but I've been taking a shit ton of pictures of all of these because for whatever reason, the 712 is not photogenic at all and I have no idea why. Um, yeah, I'm using the term photogenic and applying it to headphones. <laughs> yeah, it's got the hammock style adjustment. It's also got a slightly different shaped headband, which you'll find interesting. Uh, the K702s and the K612s and pretty much the entire line has like a, a rectangular shape. But with the 712, it kind of curves in a little bit and it's a little bit uh, thinner. So it ain't dummy thick like the rest of them. But it is dummy thick in that it's a little bit... Uh, thicker, a tad bulkier, I guess. It's probably around the same size as the 702, if I'm being honest. But I do know that the 612 is the smallest headphone out of the line. The 712 has the velour pads, but they're much softer than the 702's pads, similar to the 612's pads. So the 612 and the 712 have the very, very soft velour, while the 702 <clears throat> has the um, kind of stiffer, more rigid padding. The cups on the 712 are nice and large and in charge, um, like the Nutty Professor. Yeah, I know what healthy is. Yeah, I know what healthy is. Uh, they're very round. They envelop your ears quite nicely, I would say. So let's just put them on real quick. See there. So they, it's got the hammock style. You don't have to do any adjustments. Um, you just sit it on top and let it go. It's got the detachable mini XLR, 3.5 millimeter termination, and a quarter inch adapter. It does come with the package. Now, Marco sent me his uh, with an aftermarket cable. If I can find it here under my ass. I don't know why I was sitting on it. Sorry, Marco. Yeah, I'll probably just put some B-roll up of it. Pretty decent length. Now, most uh, AKG models come with the super, super long, about three meter cable which is great for gaming and film uh, if you're in the living room or on your console or whatever yeah the color scheme is also a tad different which is very striking to me this is one of the reasons why um, I've been wanting to demo it is just because of the color like it's kind of the pretty boy of the line build is good it's a, it's very plasticky but it's not uh, it doesn't feel cheap like a k240 um, or anything like that so I feel comfortable dropping these. In fact, I've not dropped this one. I've dropped uh, my K702 quite a bit, K612 quite a bit, uh, and they just they seem to take a lick and they keep on ticking like Mick Foley. So that's always good news. Comfort is exceptional, scintillating, magnificent, exemplary, outstanding. Uh, insert word salad here. It's just a it's just a really good fit. The clamp force on both sides is really good. Um, they're not gonna dig into the side of sides of your head. They're not really gonna dig into the top of your head either because they're so light and you won't really need any padding. Now, the older Chinese models had the uh, the bumps on the headband, but you know the newer <clears throat> Chinese models as well as the Slovakian model don't. And I think that's a good thing because because a lot of people were complaining about um, bumps in their head. <laughs> yeah. Man, you got a lumpy ass head. <laughs> oh crap, let me see if I'm even recording. Okay, whew, that would suck. Lightweight but robust is pretty much the best way to describe it. Um, the velour pads are large enough and it almost feels like you're wearing nothing. Sort of like me right now below the waist. You can wear them for really long sessions, gaming sessions, music, musical sessions, film sessions. Um, you could even wear them when you're filming a porno, if you want to wear open back headphones when you're doing such a thing. So let's get right into sound. Very relaxed, very laid back sound. Now obviously most people, now this headphone has been covered quite a bit, so you're, 
you're probably going to be familiar, at least if you've done any sort of research on these. Definitely more laid back than a 702. In some ways, these remind me of a Sundar in the mid-range after 1K because it kind of doesn't take a, like a, it doesn't bottom out, <laughs> but it's like a gradual roll off. Uh, into you know the upper mid-range into the treble. There's definitely more bass on the 712. Actually, yeah, there's a little bit more mid bass on the 712. It kind of has a, a similar rise to the Porter Pro, but it doesn't sound like a Porter Pro if that makes sense. It just has like a, a more gradual, more of a gradual rise into the mid-range. I would describe the bass as like, it, it doesn't hit really hard. It has a little bit of thump, but it's not, it's never, you're never gonna feel like this is a bass head's headphone or anything like that. If you're a hip hop head, you might enjoy it. It's not like, it doesn't slam, let's just put it that way. But, you know, I like the 712, but I kind of prefer the 702 a little more because to me, it's a little snappier. The 712 is gonna be warmer, more relaxed, more laid back. Treble, maybe a tad smoother, more relaxed and mellow, but by and large, very similar uh, treble to the 612 and the 702, in my opinion. Also, obviously, with the AKG models and uh, 712 include, you're gonna get a really good sound stage. Um, Things are very open and spacious. Plenty of out of your head moments. The spacing of instruments is really good. Now, there's something I do wanna point out uh, that I noticed when going back to this headphone from, I believe it was a 5.8X. I'm demoing the 5.8X uh, before the giveaway. And this this I talked about in the HD600 video, um, the veiled video. I got a similar feeling with the 712 and now I put it back on my head and I started to listen. I kind of, I had this weird like, what the hell is this? <laughs> like look on my face for a second. Uh, I have no idea. I think it's just because the sound signature of the 5.8X and the 712 is markedly different. This 5.8X is obviously going to be snappier, uh, more intimate, I guess. And that's, I think, what threw me off is like when I put the 712 back on, I was like, um, everything felt like kind of hazy and wooly. Thanks, Tile. And what's another word salad word we can use here? Need more word salad, need more word salad. Congested almost, like as if, as if I was listening to music in a cardboard box for a second. It's very hard to describe, but it was like, I don't know, it was weird, but I, I turned up the volume a little bit and you know, it went away, sort of like what happens when you just listen to a headphone for a while, as you all probably well know. Uh, it's just this weird phenomenon, but. Anyway, that's, um, I, I wouldn't classify the headphone as that, but it's definitely something to keep in mind uh, before purchasing one of these. Now the 702, I got that a similar feeling, but not quite as jarring as this, because like I said, the 702 is snappier. 612 is a reject, and I absolutely can't stand that headphone. <laughs> but yeah, so another highlight of this headphone that I noticed when I was listening to music is the decay of instruments is really, really good with the 712 and pretty much all AKG models uh, as far as the 700 and 600 line. But I think because of its open nature and because sounds are spaced out better, you get that sense where you can kind of feel the instruments trail off more. You feel voices trailing off more where they're um, just more fully fleshed out. I didn't really notice much in terms of attack or sustain, but definitely decay um, is exemplary with these headphones. So I would say stick to lighter genres like classical jazz, acoustic folk, maybe instrumental guitars, uh, acoustic guitars, Sufjan Stevens, stuff like that, um, Iron and Wine. Nick Drake, I don't know if you guys know who Nick Drake is, but he killed himself. Uh, Elliot Smith also killed himself. It's a type of music, it's a type of headphone that you wanna to listen to lighter genres with really because like I tell people, um, the 712 and the 702 um, and basically the, the entire line doesn't, they don't like to be pushed that much. And you start to turn up the volume, you can, you can hear it just a little bit flabby, a little bit loose, uh, loosey goosey. And perhaps even a bit distorted, uh, similar to like an HD 500 series headphone, like a 598 or something like that. So that's that. I mean, you can listen with to, to hip hop, which I do, and harder stuff. 
and I really enjoy it. It's just that some people may not because they're probably going to be a little bit shocked and weirded out <laughs> over you know the way this headphone portrays music if you're not used to this type of sound signature. So by amplification, you're definitely going to need an amp for these, but let's not get carried away. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna go into the whole power hangry myth, the power hangry, I'm hangry. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> but um, you all need an amp, I'd probably suggest a K5 Pro for most people to get you started and after that, you know, you can just really go down the rabbit hole with these. I have an article for the best headphone amps for the 701 and 702. 712 obviously applies. Um, that research dates back a long time, um, plus some firsthand experience. Now, I haven't heard everything with those, but if I were to get something for a 702 based on my research, like something that I specifically buy for the 702 or this one, I would probably get a Heed Can Amp. Uh, because of all the research I've done over the years. Now, keep in mind, even though I do a lot of research, a lot of times I'll find that like a lot of what I read years back was just utter bullshit, <laughs> to put it lightly, to put it mildly, but uh, that's not very mild. Um, yeah, so I'm throwing the headphone up and down now, so I think that signifies that I'm about done talking about it. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Bye.